Hey guys, I wanna show you how easy it is to use your products from July's Ipsy Glam Bag. So here is mine and we'll go through the products that I got for this month. Okay, the first one is Hemp's and this is their herbal body moisturizer and it's sweet pineapple and honey melon. It smells really good. They offer for me to choose an item and this, this is what I chose. It smells so good and yeah, happy with that one. The next product is the Balm Cosmetics eyeshadow. It's called What's the Tea? And this is a cool tone. It is gray and so my skin tone is cool. Actually, it's warm neutral, so um, it's like in between cool tones and warm tones, so I can kind of wear both. So this is a cool tone. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use it. Third item is this eyebrow brush from Billion Dollar Brows. This is perfect because it has a spoolie on one end and it has the angled brush on the other end. And what I usually do is I brush out my brows, then I color my eyes in with a little pencil and then I use eyeshadow. So you can get the eyeshadow and kind of like fill in more areas. So the pencil and powder together makes this last all day. And then if it's too dark, just brush it out with your spoolie and that will lighten the look. It's really simple. Love this brush. Everybody should have a brush like this in their makeup bag. And this is the fourth item, Pacifica Beauty. This is the bronzer blush duo, and the color is Bronzed Rose. Now the fifth item, Laritzi Cosmetics, and this is a dew pot in Utopia. See that color right there? Just gonna add a little bit of highlight and glow. So I'm gonna use this brush right here. And this is a large shadow brush from Scone. I like this, I like brushes like this because they pack on the powder onto um, your eyes. See how it just goes on and it's like packed on? So the more compact the bristles are, the more color you can pack on to your eyes. So just keep that in mind. That's why I like this to pack on color. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is what we're gonna do. So now I'm gonna grab this brush right here. And this is a precision blending brush. So it blends, however it's precision because the bristles are still compact. So you see that? So I'm gonna get this precision brush and pack on a little bit more color while I blend it. I wanna keep the color on my lids. I'm doing a classic smoky eyeshadow. So see how that kind of like keeps everything like tight and compact and but still blends it out. No need to be like super perfect because we're gonna clean up some stuff while we go. So kind of outline your lids, okay? And stay in the crease and below the crease. Okay. And now I'm gonna grab an, a little bit of a fluffier blending brush and this is a Morphe M139 and this is like a tapered blending brush. 
So I'm gonna blend a little bit more and create that smoky gradient look. So now that I did that, I'm gonna grab an even fluffier blending brush. This one is SL Miss Glam, the L34 Blend Beauty Brush. Okay, so this one's a little fluffier, so it's gonna make the look even softer, which I'm just gonna outline. So up here, out and up. So yesterday went live, Instagram live, and somebody asked me, um, you can't talk? Because I wasn't talking throughout the whole video. And sometimes I just get really focused on what I'm doing, so I can't talk. <laughs> but the more I try it, I'll get used to it. So see how that's like smoky? So with my um, foundation brush, I'm gonna, just gonna go over my face a little bit with whatever foundation is still on this brush and kind of clean up under my eyes and above my brows. And for the sake of adding eyeliner, I'm just gonna use this Pixi Beauty Endless Silky Eye Pen, and I love this. So it glides on very smoothly, and it blends really well. So I'm just putting it on like the corners of my eyes because this is gonna be a really simple, quick look. Grab this angled brush right here. Okay, so there is that. Now I want to add some concealer under my eyes. I'm gonna go for Bye Bye Under Eye. You just need a little of this. A little will go a long way. minute and I'm gonna add some setting powder from Tarte I've been really liking how this um, setting powder powder looks on camera so I did a photo shoot with my friend and it really helped brighten the center of my face so that's where I set my concealer and it just looks really smooth. Next, let's move on to the Bronzer Blush Duo from Pacifica. Start out with the contour. You see the hollow of your cheek right, or of my cheek right there? That's, that's where I wanna apply this. Let's do a straight line and then like blend upward. Smile and get like the little curve of your smile. And don't forget your forehead. And I like the color of this bronzer. 
And I feel like it went, this went a little too low. So just go back over with foundation, kind of like brighten it. All right, now for the blush. Oh, and for this, this bronzer too, I'm gonna put that on my nose to make it look a little thinner. And the last item is this Luritzy Dew Pot. I'm just gonna use my finger for this one. See? And then put that on my cheekbones. So see how simple it was to use all those products, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I absolutely love this highlighter. I gotta, I gotta use it, Ofra. Rodeo Drive. Put that on. You know, brighten my eyes a little bit. Also gonna add it to my cheekbones. Oh yeah, one more place I'm gonna apply that to, and that's the center of my nose. I'm gonna add a simple lip gloss. This is Pixie Beauty and this is Honey Sheen. And then some mascara to finish off the look. I'm not gonna add false lashes because I like to keep the integrity of my own lashes. Using false lashes every day can like kind of hurt your own natural lashes. So I'd rather just use mascara or nothing at all just to keep the integrity of my, my own natural lashes. I will use false lashes here and there, like special occasions and stuff, but for the most part, I just use mascara. And I love this mascara one. I love how it's curved. This is um, Ico Lash Alert. I like it. Okay, and so there is the final look using all five products of my Ipsy Glam bag. I hope you guys liked watching this. Please give it a thumbs up, that would help so much, and subscribe to my channel, okay? So, once again, this was July's Glam bag products. I used all of them, and this is the final look. Thank you for watching, bye.